for sure. We're getting into game one here. Balmus versus PK Chris. Game one. My guess is starting on PS2. Hey, you know what? I'd be uh, far inclined to believe you on that, but we will see how it uh <laughs> how it shakes down here. I love this color banjo, by the way. Very uh, underrated color. IMO. Yeah, honestly, most of the time they usually just use the default one. But yeah, we're starting here on PS2. I I think it plays into exactly what we were talking about before. Plenty of room to stay back, and you already see Bomus is doing it because if you stay in Ness's face too much, as a character like this who doesn't have necessarily all the best air to air options to beat out a Ness on short hop, you want that room, and you want to annoy PK Chris to getting in on you. That way you can get bigger damage and play like Snake almost in the matchup. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of this uh, the match be set up for Banjo in the air. You know, you're seeing Bomus go for those. You know, be reverse down bees to, you know, get the the egg grenade mm -hmm. in hand. But right now you see PK Chris. Uh, oh my God! I think that yeah, that that neutral bee caught the uh, <laughs> it caught Whoa. the PK's thunder. So well played it, until you decided to get too close and played with the sun. <laughs> Bomus yeah. felt so good after sniping that recovery. I liked it. Never gave up stage positioning, and then for some wild reason, decided you know what? That's shiny. I like it. I want it. I made the wrong choice though. Yeah, Icarus flying a little bit too close to the sun right there. But, yay, great awareness there for PK Chris. Might as well go for it, even up the game right here. You know, Ness is a character that in uh, most, in, in some instances, can be very, very explosive like that. And you'll see a lot with the higher level Nesses. And you saw, you know, shades of it with PK Chris before. You know, using the, the magnet uh, low to the ground and stuff like that for movement options and such. So, you know, I guess uh, a... a not as quick as a character as Banjo, that's definitely going to be useful for him, but... Oh, 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 I like that so much! Not only going for the side B to get stage positioning, but not wasting a single second because he saw that PK Chris got punished low with that low recovery they did before. He knew 100% Chris was going to go for a high recovery there and caught him with that Wonder Wing. Yeah, that was gnarly. Very rarely do you see people, like, just pull the trigger on a double Wonder Wing like that. You know, that is a very finite resource <laughs> that you get to play with, so. Yeah, speaking of, they're gone right now, and it's, uh, I mean, I, I I think it also kind of plays in that playbook we were talking about before, right? When you're this high up, you lose your stocks, so it doesn't even matter anymore. That point's irrelevant. We're getting <laughs> one stock left apiece. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I agree. Like, you, you might as well let them rip in more instances than that, especially at that higher percent, but you get Chris, again, wasting no time evening things up, and you're seeing, again, the low percent prowess uh, of Ness coming into... Uh, coming into effect here, Ajax. Yeah, and here's that punish hard with the grab. That's the thing. You always have to be worried about that. That's why I'm pretty sure that he got rid of all the resources before. He was at KO percent. Sometimes I'll just use up the rest of them. I really enjoy the way PK Chris is consistently utilizing those grenades to get health back. But also, he's starting to realize where Bonus is actually punishing him. He's short hopping with fares, almost using it like a Lucina fare to try and like space and get damage. And Chris isn't falling for that as much now as the set has progressed. Don't land in front of that, please. No. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's listen, man. Sometimes every now and then you walk into a you walk into a parked car and uh you you may or may uh get the burn under the chicken. But not there for BK Chris. He patiently waits out the forward smash, Ness's dash attack, you know, a, a low key uh underrated um you know kill option. So mm -hmm. excellent Honestly, stuff right I, there. I, I... I would have called it running head on to the traffic if, if if PK Chris ran into that forward smash. Because, like, Bomas had that charge forever. But that's one of those, like, I mean, it was a mistake for sure. But it's also one of those things that it can occasionally just work out in your favor. Somebody does it, they wait, they try to punish you, then they, all of a sudden they you get a shield grab out of it. But Bomas played super well. I like the way Bomas was using, uh, you know, retreating forward airs and approaching forward airs to call out jumps, but never really over committing to the point where it would cost them a lot of damage. You want to keep your damage at a very, uh, you know, safe margin because we are we saw it a few times. PK Chris, once he gets that opening, you get one PK fire, you get one forward air. Next thing you know, the game's even. Yeah, no, Ness is a... Uh... It's, it's, it's Ness is sort of like a Greek tragedy sometimes when it comes to like how the meta progresses in certain instances. Mm -hmm. Um, and still, this character has a lot of tricks up their sleeve. Um, and like you said, especially, uh, there's a lot of firepower behind these hits if, if you, you know, catch, you know, catch them in the right instance. And 
PK Chris showcased that, you know, whenever the game slipped away from him, he wasted zero time uh, getting himself back in the fold. So we'll see how this game two goes for Bomas. True enough. And chat got me cracking up right now because they're saying that Bomas got cheese at 37. You know, when you fly directly into PK Thunder 2, the only one that's wrong is you. So <laughs> that's not Bomas. But here yeah. in game number two, uh, you know, Bomas getting pressured in the corner and just, oh, this is going to be big damage. And that's going to be a stock. Not even the forward, air, uh, forward smash knows that he can't mash out of that right there. Great stock from PK. Okay, Chris. Bro, that was crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, now, now if you want to say cheese, I'm going to give you that one. That one hurt. Oh, stop landing in front of those forward smashes. What are you doing? <laughs> one of those is going to hit you. But Bob is trying to find his way back on stage. PK Chris feeling really comfortable right now with this large lead. Yeah, no, uh, that was a, an explosive start to that set. Very, very rarely do you see like the PK fire like stack combos like that work, but that was an excellent instance to go for that on a you know a, a bigger character like banjo by the ledge you know what what are you losing right there you know going for that he's continuing yeah, to add on this pressure right now oh he caught him right at the bottom that head a little bit too big on this child getting hit by the wonder wing better watch out don't move in you're gonna start crying he catches him with the jump goes for another one <laughs> chris is feeling himself right now yeah he's wild <laughs> he's really going for it right now but you know, excellent stuff right uh, there for BK Chris. Again, down a stock, but uh, up pretty big in percent, uh, you know, percent right now on the even game. Yeah, and you you see like uh, th those forward airs before were working so much, right? We were talking about that and the and the uh, the last game. You see what Chris has done to beat that out? He's now using side magnets instead. It's a big hitbox, so he's able to be, like punish him for it. Good drag down to the up throw. It's not going to kill yet because of the fact that it's Kalos. That taunt might come back to cost him. <laughs> we'll see if it actually does. But Bomas looking for the opening. That's another one. Does he have a jump? He does it. He's going to get the air dodge read. Is he going to go for him off stage? He's going to force the jump. Try and go for a low recovery. It tries to bait the high oh, one. No. Does a hit for its smashy. That taunt definitely almost cost him. <laughs> Ooh, okay, great uh, read on the spot dodge right there. Um, you know, Bomas uh, committing to the Wonder Wing, sucking some end lag, and every time he's done that near the ledge, mm -hmm. he's gotten grabbed for it. Uh, but that was a great uh, read on that by PK Chris for going to the down smash, getting himself some lead back. True enough. And PK Chris is just, uh, you know, we've, we've talked about the differences between rod players in the past, right? Dill will always hover below the ledge, wait for you to try and do something about it, and then just all of a sudden pop up. PK Chris utilizes that PK flash in a way that's so annoying. You try to get in, and he just... He just stops you from ledge trapping him. Yeah, no, 100%, man. Uh, you see uh, Bomas trying to get back in the thick of things here, Ajax, but again, PK Chris doing what, uh, show, ex, uh, showcasing great movement right here. You know, keep making himself very evasive to hit. And again, that's one of the things about Ness that makes him so frustrating to fight against. He's already a small target, and, you know, being able to move around in the air uh, as quickly as he is. Uh, just makes it uh, what's already uh, a hard task even more uh, difficult. Yeah, exactly. And you can only utilize that Wonder Wing so much. Now you're on last stock. You can't really afford to do anything too much. Thank you so much, A and G Esports, coming through with the raid. Another raid on the night. Appreciate it because we got a really good set going here. Don't jump into it. Why don't I tell you? I'm trying to save your life, Chris. You keep jumping in front of them. Eventually, they're going to hit. Bomas now in a position where you can actually get this game back. Yeah, no, uh, definitely, you know, within uh, arm's reach right now, but he's going to have to play this pretty close to the best, Ajax. And, mm -hmm. you know, PK Chris has shown him when he has a lead. He's, he's very good at uh, holding on to it right now in the triple digits. Yeah, and, and there's the up smash call. It's not, wow, it actually is going to do it. I didn't think that was going to kill, even with the charge, because he's been DIing it well the entire time. Uh, Bomas is going down 2-0 to PK Chris. Played extremely well in a lot of situations. The only thing that really caused him to end up losing that game in the end it's all that forward air pressure that he was doing before got stopped. It was his biggest damage opener. It was his best stage position controller, and he forced PK Chris to stay grounded a lot because of it. But once Chris beat that out with those side magnets and playing like a little bit safer on jumps, it, the game the j game changed completely. It, well, also the early the early spike helped quite a bit too. But that was a good set between the two. Yeah, no, capitalizing on those early percent kills. That's something that's great about. Uh... You know, great about Ness is that there are those instances where, you know, you, you're you just going to take your opponent's stock death-defyingly early. So, you yeah, know, we'll take those. 